presidential candidates in Guinea are campaigning for June elections meant to return the country to civilian rule. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns reports on one candidate who has taken his campaign to Guineans in neighboring Sierra Leone. Selu Jalo's Opposition Union of Democratic Forces for Guinea Party is one of the groups that pressed for Conakry's interim government as part of regionally backed efforts to end 16 months of military rule. Jalo's a presidential candidate in elections currently scheduled for June 27th. After holding several rallies inside the country, he went looking for votes among the thousands of Guineans who live in neighboring Sierra Leone. <laughs> If you vote me in, I'll ensure we integrate regionally, bringing all the countries together and ensure they're all peaceful and will share their resources. This will help us to avoid what happened to Liberia and Sierra Leone. Liberia and Sierra Leone are still recovering from long civil wars that sent thousands of refugees into Guinea. Voters hope this election removes the threat of further instability by replacing Guinea's military rulers and uniting the country behind civilian leadership. I am supporting Selu Dalian because if he wins, I know he is going to build the infrastructure of the country like roads, hospitals and mosques, and he will unite Guineans together. Jalo is a former prime minister to longtime leader Lansana Conte, whose death in December of 2008 led to Guinea's military taking power. Well, that man has worked very hard for Guinea. He has worked for the past 20 years. He was a minister. He has worked very, very hard. He make roads, he make bridges, he make a lot of, he do a lot of job. That's why I'm convinced to work with him because I read his manifesto and his manifesto is very good. The manifesto is very, very good. It's to help Guinea. There have been delays in organizing June's vote and the election may be postponed, but regional diplomats say the bigger threat to civilian rule is Guinea's army. Acting military ruler General Sakuba Konate says some soldiers are organizing secret meetings to undermine this return to constitutional order. He says those behind such efforts will be destroyed immediately because they're acting against democracy. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.